Um, I'm Judith Thornton and this is my house, a uh, five bedroom house, so quite big, uh, built around uh, 1900. So uh, not very good uh, insulation naturally, but I've done some work on it since. Until a couple of years ago, we didn't have central heating. We were on um, electric storage heaters. And obviously that's pretty rubbish, uh, both from an environmental perspective and from a, just a comfort perspective. Um, and uh, I didn't really want to have a gas boiler, um, so I was looking at wood appliances and uh, I've ended up with this one, which is a, a wood pellet boiler. It, it's not like having a wood stove and having to light it and, and that kind of stuff, it's all completely automated. Um, and then uh, this does, this heats the room because a certain amount of heat comes out into the room, um, but it also does uh, a works through a standard central heating system, does the radiators and it does all our hot water in the winter as well. Okay, so this is a fairly normal central heating timer um, and we've got several different zones so you can choose which bits of the house you want to have warm uh, and what time you want the water to get hot. Um, most of this lot is normally boxed off into a, into a cupboard so you can't see it but I haven't quite got around to doing that bit yet. So we're now upstairs where the, uh, the hot water tank is. So the boiler is connected to the, it's a conventional hot water cylinder uh, with a coil in. Um, the pipes all come up from the, from the boiler downstairs into our hot water tank in there. Okay, so uh, this, is my, this is where I store my pellets. Uh, and if this was winter, then this area would be kind of full. So I get them a ton at a time on the pallet uh, and then just stack them all up in here. Last winter we used a ton, I mean if you wanted it to be really really cosy you'd, you'd, probably, uh, you'd probably use more, you'd probably use a couple of tons but obviously it depends on how big your house is and, and how warm you want to be, you know if you're happy just to put on the jumper if it's a bit chilly then, uh, then you use less pellets obviously. Um, and so this area was kind of completely full of pellets in the winter and then uh, basically you just carry sacks through into the house uh, every day or two long bags they're sort of slightly sausage shaped so they're sort of quite easy to carry considering they're 15 kilos. You basically just pour the pellets in the top yeah so the ash this is the this is the combustion chamber where it all happens and basically the pellets uh, go down the little chute uh, into the bottom of the combustion chamber, which is in there, um, and then it uh, automatically uh, removes, uh, drops the ash into this little ash box underneath. Um, so uh, that is it's amazing how little ash you get. I mean, you get, you know, empty that every every few months, really. Uh, you can adjust all the settings on it, but um, basically, if you want the heating on. You just hit a button. Yep. Last winter we used about a ton of pellets uh, and that's about 200 quid delivered. And obviously if you wanted to be really, really toasty warm you'd probably use, use more. Yeah. They are a little bit noisy but it's because um, it's got a combustion air fan to make sure it burns efficiently. Just like you'd get a gas boiler technician in to service your gas boiler once a year, um, this boiler gets a, a service visit once a year. Um, and that's, well, I mean, actually, it's, it's 150 quid, um, and that actually covers as many visits as it needs. Because this is an appliance that's uh, on the list of approved appliances under the, uh, the government grant system, the, the Low Carbon Building Programme, um, I got a £1,500 grant uh, towards the cost of the installation.